So hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Rashida Loves. Thank you once again for tuning in and hello to the new subscribers. Okay, actually, hello to my new family. We're the Loves family. So welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna just give you a disclaimer from the beginning. This video might be all over the place simply due to the topic that we're going to be discussing because it's a bit, it's a bit, it's, a, it's gonna be a bit of a deep one. As I did say, I am starting um, a Therapy Tuesday series on my channel where we kind of go in deep. Yeah, we definitely go in deep trying to find awareness and healing and learning how to kind of just break certain patterns like. I feel like this will be this will be very beneficial. I don't know why, but I feel like it will because had I had someone teach me these things on my own journey of self discovery, I think it would have been nice because I feel like I just had to discover and learn and read and just I don't know the spirit of God. I don't know helped me as the journey progressed, if that makes sense. So this topic, literally, we're going to be talking about is. It's, we're going to be talking. We're going to be talking about toxic parenting. Did you know what it's going to be? Actually, let's talk breaking the cycles. Toxic parenting. I feel like I have to be a bit vulnerable, and yeah. But as a, but how else will you be able to know me or connect with me if you don't even know some of the things that I've been through or understand that? Okay, if she could actually overcome that maybe then i can do you get what i mean because i feel like a lot of coach sell things and no one's actually been honest with who they are and what they do and maybe the things that actually they've been through and why why you can trust in them to help you does that make sense except my vulnerability it's just yeah yeah it's, um, it's a learning process it's a learning process but anyway it's so cool like for me personally when it comes to parenting i love my parents however it's taken a long time for us to get to a certain point of mutual respect mutual understanding and just being to togetherness if that makes sense it's taken a long time and i feel like it's so sad that it took so many trivial moments so many hard moments before i could um before we could actually get to that point and again it also is distance as well distance so weird that distance helps the relationship i don't know if anybody else can relate to that out, out there like distance distance makes you and your parents relationship better that's the situation for me but i've learned to accept it i've learned to I've learned to just accept it because at the end of the day, like, I used to really admire people that had good relationships with their parents or, like, could just, it was just a nice, I used to admire it, like, they felt, like, comfortable with their parents. I used to admire it, I used to be a bit envious of it, I used to just think, what the hell is this, like, why? But then again, this is my journey, do you get what I mean? Like, this is my journey because the one thing I do know is the people that you say that you do not want to turn out like, nine times out of ten, if you ain't careful, you become that person. Person. and that's what you don't realize so if you aren't actually actively learning now to like break certain cycles or learn certain things who do you think you're going to turn out like when you actually reach a specific age you will turn out like the same people unconsciously and unknowingly because then the reason why you actually end up turning out like these people is simply because you are around them all the time you see them you see their actions whether or not they're just or unjust you see it every time so what the, you basically start to adopt that and you adopt the behavior you adopt the belief you adopt everything and then how does that serve you it's weird i don't know i'm the only girl the middle child so yeah middle child syndrome is real but then i feel like i had the pressures of the firstborn I had the pressures of being the first, I had the pressures of the firstborn, even though I ain't the firstborn, that was my older brother, but because my parents, it was like, obviously, I don't know, they just, as my dad said, he was like, he had so much hope and so much belief in me that he, the only way he knew how to handle me was to push me and keep pushing me, if that made sense, and I get it, the way Nigerians' parents are, it's tough love out here, they know that you, they know that you've got potential, I don't know how they think about it but instead of like encouraging being soft and pushing you to hit that potential they just push you in the most random why did you you got b why didn't you get a minus or why didn't you get a oh like there's no it's never like 
okay, do you know what, my child, you've done the best you can. It's always, ah, uh, why do you do that one? Uh, but you know I know that you can do that. Sometimes I don't need to hear that. Sometimes just embrace me because I'm not always going to be perfect. Does that make sense? I'm not always, I might, you have so much potential in me. I have so, so much potential in me. But I don't know, there's going to be times where I'm going to fuck up. Let's just be honest. There's going to be days where I'm not going to put in that 10%, that 100% that I put in. There's going to be some days I'm going to put in 1%, literally. And it was like, my parents just, I don't know, it's it's always been a weird relationship. But it was just, it, 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 the pressure got really a lot. And it was like, the more the pressure kind of came, I kind of just dropped back. Because I don't work with other people's timings and pressure. I'm not going to lie to you, that's one thing I don't. So it was like, okay, this is becoming a lot. So it's like, I didn't show much. And it was just like... For, through everything I can just say for my to my parents to me I like direction I liked whatever it is I liked a lot of things and it's harder when you can't actually talk to your parents if that makes sense if you can't actually say how you feel because especially being Nigerian African even probably Caribbean because we're all blacks like the way we grew up especially our parents that grew up back home is completely different to our generation now it's completely different to how they've even had to bring us up even though they still try to enforce the ways that they were raised. Does that make sense? So you got, like, the one thing I had to teach myself is, like, and I even had to speak to my dad about it, is I'm not like you. And I can't <laughs> be like you. The way you were raised is, if you, like, I don't know, if you fall down and you graze your knee, yeah? Don't worry about it. Just limp to the next destination. Keep limping. As, as, as along the way, you can just put plaster, you can just do this, you can just, and it's like the wound is still there, the wound has not healed, you have just learnt to live with the wound, and in you learning to live with the wound is where the survival, the survival instinct comes into it, because of how they were raised back home, like they were probably raised on the toughest love ever, had to fetch water, had to live a different, complete different lifestyle completely to us, so it's like mental health, all these things that we go through they didn't that didn't exist then to them they, th their parents didn't think about their mental health so how could they think about ours how could they even think that they were possibly affecting our mental health when they were able to survive that does that make sense so it's like i had to really 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 understand that okay you were raised that way i'm raised this way however you trying to alter me into your being i can't be that way like because i realized it was making me the 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 thing is, when you become so submissive, like, to your parents, honour your parents, yes, but don't lose yourself honouring them. That's one thing I had to really learn because you, you, it's like we give so much of ourselves and then it's like, who do you have left? You've you've lived your life for your parents you've done the course that they wanted you to do are you fulfilled you followed the journey the plans they think are you are you okay are you fulfilled like are you happy no you're not because you end up just living and being so submissive that you miss out on living for you and that's where you have to really realize that yes my parents birthed me yes Okay, do you know what? Yes, my parents birthed me and God chose them to be my parent as well as God chose me to be their child. But I came to live my own life. I came to have my own destiny. I came to fulfill God's calling of me same way they came to fulfill God's calling of them. So therefore, I can't just, I can't abandon who I am to please you. I can't leave everything I know or not everything I know, everything I want to do just to please my parents. Because one thing you have to realise is one, we're all going to leave this earth one day. Do you get what I mean? And by the grace of God, we will be the ones to bury our parents. They will not bury us, you get what I mean? But in saying that as well, you don't want them to have gone, your parents to have gone. And it's like, you're now like 50, 70. You just realise that you have never lived your life. You just realise that you kind of just did everything for them. We need to break the cycle sometimes. You need to break the cycle. Sometimes they're not going to understand what you do. They're not going to understand why you're doing what you do. But they're your parents. They'll be the first to celebrate once everything comes together. So sometimes it is taking the leap of faith and just doing what you need to do for you in every way, whether it's you wanting to move out to just find your own, your own identity, whether it's just wanting you you wanting not wanting to go not wanting to go to university, but you have a plan. I'm just being honest because sometimes not everyone not, not university isn't for everybody. Not everything is for everybody. Do you know what I mean like your journey is your journey is specifically made for you and this is where you have to also let your parents know like sometimes you're gonna have to teach our parents how to respect us and that's okay because the way our parents is is once when the elders are talking you can't talk but no that doesn't exist anymore because if in order for you to understand me and in order for me to want to relate to you can you 
can can we have a bit of respect? Can you can you want to listen to me without passing your judgment? I realize that we have to break the cycle because if you don't break the cycle of certain things, like and even in yourself right now, if you can see that you're similar to your parents and just the way you think and just the way you just the way you are, because I had to realize one thing: a lot of me, a, a lot of me was a bit like my mum. Uh, do you know what I'm, I'm character wise I don't know like, I used to, yeah I was more like my mum and I can say this in certain things like rigid to love like hard body like my mum is mandem that's just the best way I could describe that so my mum being mandem now in our generation yeah it didn't even work with my dad so in our generation how can I be a, a a man is supposed to be a man yeah we're supposed to be in agreement together but if I'm acting like mandem you're gonna wanna fuck off because how can you love me? I just know that one thing that we have to learn to do is break certain cycles. Cycles that seem unhealthy and you know they're unhealthy. Start to break them and start start to do that now. Because you got to remember at the end of the day, we are getting older every day. And it's like the older we get, it's harder to break certain habits. It's just harder because some things will become embedded in us. Does that make sense? So it's like, when will you break the habit? Gen gen generational curses habits don't just break themselves you gotta put in some work you have to look at your family look at everything look at what you don't like even with your parents and how they raised you look at how certain things they don't like don't like do, do you know one thing I can actually even say is sometimes don't even hate your parents honestly like for the people that actually hate their parents and despise them for everything that they probably put them through to each is their own but one thing I will say is don't hate them because I was close to doing that and I felt entitled. <laughs> that entitlement is a lie. But I really felt entitled because I'm like, they're my parents. They should know that they should know how to be with me because it goes deeper. But one day we'll go into the deeper. Do you get what I mean? Like one day I'll actually sit down and we'll get to know about me properly, like in, even in more depth. But if they weren't raised to know any better, and do you know what? Sometimes they didn't even want to know any better. You can't be angry at them. They made their bed, let them lie in it. But all you can do is forgive them. you got to now look at yourself and be like, what type of parent will I be? What type of person am I going to be? Am I going to take on the same patterns as my parent and put that out there? Does that make sense? Like, it's bre breaking cycles and breaking habits. Listen, you've really got to look in yourself. You've got to look at your family. You've got to look at what's healthy, what isn't healthy, and create some boundaries as well. Creating boundaries will help. But one thing that we've just got to learn is this is our lives. Yeah? You are no longer your parent. You are no longer a child. You are no longer, I don't know, but this is your life. When will you take charge? Because for for as many, as long as you want, you can continue blaming them. And yeah, you are just, yes, you are justified. Yes, you are entitled to. But what does that do after? Does that change who you are? Does that bring you closer to your being? Does that bring you closer to authenticity? Because sometimes you don't even realize we are the ones that teaches our parents. Because at the end of the day, at this age, not only are they, not only are they our parents, they become our friends too. So it's weird, like, we are the ones that are going to teach our parents nearly everything in some cases. That like our parents are going to really look at us and be like, hmm, wow, maybe I didn't, maybe I could have actually done better. Maybe they'll never say it to us, but they will know it in their hearts. Because you, I mean, you've got to think about it this way. The younger your sibling gets, you, the, the more your parents actually transitioned a little bit in how they kind of like raised your younger ones. Do you get what I mean? So you've got to realise, even now when they look at you being a parent, finally, because this is our parents' joy for us to be a parent, they will now look at how you handle your kids. And way, the way you are able to relate to your kids will actually be an eye-opener for them to... For everything that they had... I don't know, maybe how they treated you, maybe how they went through life, maybe how they... Do you get what I'm trying to say? So it's just like, don't... This is what I'm saying as well. Just forgive them. Make peace. Like, learn to make peace. Like, literally make peace. It is it is their fault and it's not their fault. Because you got to put it this way. If your parent came to this country when they were, like, in their 30s, ment mentality-wise, they're not even thinking about what what's wrong with me they're just like i need to put money on the table so it's like everything is still in the survival instinct all they're trying to do is survive whereas now you are now you us we need to learn to thrive not survive because their parents already did the surviving for us now we need to take away air, kill those survival instincts and actually learn how to live live and thrive survival instincts is just basically like 
you so i'm reading my own instagram post because i <laughs> i wrote it a while ago but um it's literally basically survival in instincts as i've mentioned is people literally living in survival mode their thinking response and how they deal with life is something they've had to teach themselves in order to make it out so you think about it our parents leaving nigeria or their country to come overseas to be to to give you give us a better life they've never thought about themselves in that way in the, in the way that we've in the way that society's allowed us to think about ourselves they've never had to they've just been on the go and it's like although i do feel like if you want to learn something and if you want to teach yourself you you will do that do you get what i mean however our parents are really hard-headed and you telling them to change uh yeah they're not really they're they're not going to probably want to but then this is why it's down for you that no if you can't change them that's cool if just know that you create healthy boundaries and you've made peace you've actually just made peace with them because you are going to be different with your kids like like, like forgiveness in all of these type of situations is very essential forgiveness is very essential like and just learning how to move on there's one thing that we all go through and if you're from if you're african huh you've been called an odd day all your life probably all these words that our parents say to us that unknowingly for some of us has actually affected us do you get what i mean like learn to if it's currently affecting you and and you might know this because trust me sometimes these words these feelings so sometimes it's so weird how before the outside world the before the outside world actually breaks us it's always sometimes for some of us it was actually at home that broke us and it's like certain words you're gonna have to and certain things like if your parents were the ones to use toxic words to you you kind of grow up in the sense of like feeling shamed feeling a bit low about yourself low self-esteem and i just want to tell you today that today is the day that you break that and you unlearn you are not useless you are not dumb you are not anything that your parents might have said in anger you are more than that but you have it's just that sometimes you take when you're sensitive sometimes you you absorb these words and you, these words and you believe in them so just just take time like all i can say is in breaking the cycle you've got to unlearn there are so many things out here that can teach you but I'm not, that can teach you about breaking the cycle and moving on however it has to come from within it has to come from you wanting to actually actually identifying your cycles and then wanting to move, make peace and then wanting to move on if that makes sense because as i said this is your life this is your life this is my life yeah I came to live my life for me. I came to give myself the best, the best. And in creating the best world, I will end up giving my parents, my children, and everyone around me the best. But I'm not living this life for anybody else. I'm not doing what any other person wants me to do other than what I need to do for me. Because you, they, even this, and you've got to always remember, when God gives a vision, he did not, he doesn't give the vision to your mom, your dad, your friends, your partner. He gave you the vision. So when you are explain, explaining that vision to someone else and you do not understand it, you can't be mad. Because they wasn't given the same vision as you. They were given something else. So it's like, we all, we even have to take that in consideration when we are honoring our parents as well like certain things that they want us to do I think yeah you, you get my drift but i feel like i just yeah guys all i can actually say it is up to you to break the cycle like you came to this world to be you you didn't come to be your parents you didn't come to be like your parents yeah we we'll always have similarities but you have your own identity your personality you, you are your own being do you get what i mean and like just I just know everything the change that you want to see in the world starts within you change your world and you change your environment does that make sense because sometimes as well all it takes is one that one family member to start breaking certain cycles and then the rest start to follow so maybe you be that sheep maybe you be that sheep thank you for tuning into therapy tuesdays i feel like this is going to have a part two and because I feel like this video is more breaking the cycles with parents. I might rename it. The the other, Yeah, but this might have a part two, but we'll think about it. If you have any questions or want to talk to me about, um, about the topic or need any advice, just feel free to contact me. You can email me, you can DM me. And yeah, thank you guys for tuning in and stay locked in for 
the more because I have more content coming so thank you guys <laughs> I don't even I did that okay so thank you guys peace and love